uh, Jermaine, fantastic uh, performance there. Was it a third round KO? Yeah, third round knockout, yeah. Caught him uh, clean with the right hand and uh, yeah, he, he didn't get back up from uh, it. Uh, uh, I was just saying to your uh, team there, it was a, a fight that I wasn't really expecting to see because you're 3 and 0 unbeaten. That yeah. kid had come to the ring, he was 1 and 0. How did a fight like that come about? Um, yeah, I was, I was due to fight uh, an unbeaten pro uh, on their debut, sorry, uh, a pro on a, their debut, yeah. but that got changed last minute and then they said we've got a few options, we've got somebody, he's won his last fight, he's fought a journeyman, he's a bit of a prospect, he's coming down and he wants to fight, do you want to take it? And I'm like, yeah, definitely. These are the, these are the type of fights that I want to be in. Well, I, I only seen the first round, but it was he was swinging leather with him, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. It made it an exciting fight exactly. for the fans to watch. It's much it's much better. No disrespect to journeyman, but they're there to to do a job to uh, you know to make up the numbers, to keep safe, and maybe spoil the fight or just get through the rounds. Um, but they're there to test you as well. Yeah, you, you yeah, some, yeah, different. yeah. You do learn something from yeah. them. But um, like I said, this person was coming to win, they were coming to fight, he had an unbeaten record they wanted to protect and obviously I'm the same, so these type of fights, I think more people should kind of take these type of fights, type of tests early, early on. And like I said to uh, somebody else, I'm not spring chicken, I'm, I'm 30 years old, so I want to try to get these fights and move up the ranking as, as, as quick as I can. Well, yeah. well let's tell them a little bit about yourself. Uh, any amateur, amateur experience? Yeah, I had uh, 25 amateurs, I actually won uh, a novice title in 2012. Uh, so that was it, I was talking to your team, that was Class B which is the under 20s. Under 20s, that's Class B under 20s, and yeah. As I was saying, uh, it's one of my favourite tournaments, I video a lot of the amateur fights and yeah. uh, I video all the North West regions and it's always my favourite tournament, the under 10s and the under 20s. You might not technically be the best boxers out there, mm -hmm. but everyone who wins in those competitions can fight. Yeah, they and, can. And uh, that's what makes it an exciting tournament to watch. Yeah, that same year that I won, I'm going to throw out some names here. Isaac Chamberlain, he won. Um, O'Hara Davis, he won. Uh, the person I beat in the final, Richard Riakapo, obviously he's an un unbeaten cruiserweight right. at the minute. So there were some really good fighters, um, and as you said, that they've gone on to do good things. Well, as you say, now obviously you must take great confidence from that now because you're in a, uh, those guys. Or, was that fight that Rick, Rick Paul did before? Uh, Sam Hyde, yeah, it was. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, no, the one after because oh, the one Sam after. Oh, yeah, sorry. Camacho. Uh, the Camacho that was after, it, yeah, yeah, when he destroyed him. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, the Sam Hyde fight, actually, Sam looked brilliant in that, mm -hmm. and Sam's just made a return to the ring after because uh, he, he got a. Yeah. Yeah, big corner, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is giving you the confidence for going forward and, and trying to pick up some titles in the pro game. Yeah, um, I, I honestly, like deep down, I was really confident, but it's okay being confident um, in training and doing really well in training. You got about, you got to bring it to the ring, and I'm so glad I kind of brought everything that I've been doing in training. Um, been taking uh, some of the stuff I've been uh, doing in sparring and took it into the ring. So well, like you said, you know, you I think last time out you fought Elvis Doob, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, what a, a really hard man. <laughs> and if no. you hit him in the head, you probably oh it yeah, out. he's a tough guy, Elvis. <laughs> yeah, enough respect for Elvis. So so it must be great for you to have a guy who's coming there, coming at you, and uh, trying to make a real fight of it. Exactly, that that's perfect. Mm. That's the type of fights I want. Like I said, I, I, I ain't got that much time on my hands, so I want to try and move up the rankings as, as soon as I can. Well, how, how quickly have you had those four, well that's your fourth fight? Uh, so no, well, the couple, the, the, I've been a pro for just over a year now, and the first year um, wasn't very active. Um, I've been with Al since around about September time, uh, me training with him, and I've had two fights so far with Al Austin, my new coach, and we're looking to push on. i got another fight booked in, I think it's in June or July, in my hometown. And I hope that? in Bradford, sorry, in Bradford. Bradford yeah. And I'm hoping to fight around about five, five times this year. I've right. already done uh, two so far. So five times would be a brilliant. And hopefully make uh, maybe top 30 rankings in the like, heavyweight division. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, which is a great division. I was yeah. seeing you talking to Lyndon before, who's uh, riding high in that division. Oh yeah, Lyndon's really good. I've done a few rounds with Lyndon. Uh, yeah. I've enjoyed going down to Collierhurst. It's been a tough lesson, it's been a tough test uh, sparring someone like Lyndon. Because he's a, he's a really good operator. Yeah. Uh, but I've enjoyed it. Uh, and I've learned a lot from it. Right, well listen, good luck with the uh, rest no, of your career. I appreciate that, thank congratulations. you. Congratulations, 4-0. Top man. Take care. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.